Hey there, my name is Anika Kai and I'm a makeup artist and content creator and today I'm going to show you how I achieved this flawless foundation look using the technique called underpainting. Now underpainting has been around for a while. It is re-emerging as things tend to do on TikTok. It's very simple to achieve and it's actually one of my preferred ways to do makeup for brides and for red carpet. It gives a really flawless airbrushed look and if you want to see how I achieved it, keep watching. The most crucial step in this process is color correcting first to avoid looking grayish. Typically, we would use foundation to even out the skin, but with underpainting, foundation comes last. Now, I like to contour first. I have a rounded, heart-shaped face, so I focus the contour on my jawlines, cheeks, and temples. I also like to define the bridge of my nose and around my lips. Creams are your best bet for underpainting. They don't set until you powder them, so you can readjust your placement as much as you like. I'm using this stick from Morphe, but Fenty matchsticks are amazing for underpainting. Now we're moving on to the brightening concealer. Use two shades of concealer to get a professional look. So this concealer is closer to my skin tone, and I'm using it for more coverage around my eyes and mouth, and the center of the face. The lighter tone goes in the areas I want the brightest. It's like painting. The more colors and tones you use, the more detail you can achieve. It's all about the color choice. Keep your face mist close to keep the products workable and blendable. One of my favorite things about this technique is that you can keep making adjustments until you're happy with the shapes. Be careful not to over blend though, it can get muddy real fast. Using different brushes for each color will help. Once the highlight and contour are in place, I'm going to add cream blush. Applying it towards my temples helps give the illusion of a longer, more angular face. I'm trying to serve snatched, not baby doll. I also added some cream highlighter to my nose, cheeks, and any little high points I want to accentuate. Now the face is fully sculpted with contour, concealer, and blush but it's really disjointed. This is where the foundation comes in. You'll want to use a small brush and a small amount of foundation to bring it all together. Start at the seams where the highlight and contour meet. Use a tapping motion to deposit the foundation without disturbing the product underneath. Take your time and focus on softening the edges where the highlight and contour meet. To set the face, I'm using powders in similar colors to the cream products, being careful not to over blend. Now let's add a touch of gloss and we're good to go. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.